So here we are at part two. Um, if you are unfamiliar with what this is, watch part one. So I'm going to go to Dear Desi on GitHub. So github.com slash Dear Desi. And we're just going to take a look at the data format that's used internally by Desiree, which is the underlying, underlying library that Desi or Dear Desi, the, the website and generator is written in or, or written with. So there's this file entity.md. This is probably the most important thing for you being able to figure out, you know, anything that doesn't fit with the way that your template is set up. So here we have all the native variable names. Okay. Now that's not what's going into your template. So let's talk about what goes into your template a little bit. I'm going to go back to the main organization and go down to data map row. Okay, and I'll open this up right here. So this is, this function map accepts a view, and the view object has on it, I should probably show you that code, um, the entity, meaning the page or whatever, as well as the author. Um, I think it also has the theme. If it doesn't, it should. And um, the config, a couple things like that, the, the site.yaml. Um, now, new view here, and this is a pattern that you should keep if you were making your own, but I suspect that you'd probably be editing this and then sending me a pull request um, if something's missing. So the, the, the goal is to not change the original, but simply to make a copy that has the mappings. So a lot of these are the same. Categories goes to categories. Player width goes to player width. Um, description goes to description, so on and so forth. However, there are some cases where something is in a place twice. So up here, this is the comments widget. So if you have a discus short name, I can't say that right, discuss. I want to say discus. If you have a discuss short name, then it will render this template and that will become the comments. Likewise, if you provide a Google Analytics tracking ID, you will get that widget. Uh, so this is the place that you just want to check and see if something doesn't map or doesn't look right. Um, just add it in here and send me a pull request. And since you probably want to do this quick and dirty like, let me show you where it's at. So you would open up Vim to user local lib node modules Desi. And then you'd go under node modules to this one's actually in its own separate submodule, Desiree data map Ra'o. And it's data map Ra'o. Right? So you open that up, you can edit it. And then when you're done, just don't forget to send me a pull request because whatever your change is, if I did something wrong, obviously I want everybody else to, to get it. So please do that. Now, the other thing I want to show you is the, the transforms because sometimes you want something new, kind of a, a new quote unquote native type. So I'll show you the transform. We're going to go back to Desiree. This is considered to be core. So it's under lib, and there's, there's four files that end in core. And the transform is what copies from the entity YML and creates the native properties. So, um, and there's different ones here. So the, the lint transform, transforms run over every item individually in the collection, and they pass in Desi, the the um, state object, as well as the environment, which is another state object, the collection, which could be obtained between Desi and Entity, because the Entity will have collection type, and then Desi has all of the collections on it, and that includes some of the config as well that's in that config.yaml. Um, so those get passed in, and there's many different of these functions that run. Normalize is the main one. So this is where we take the title and we do the slug and we do the different formatting for the dates. Um, there's also a redirects array. If you wanted to change the, what this is, is if you, if you want to change your slug for a particular article, you can go in and it's an array, but you add a redirect uh, in the YAML and then you put the little you know marker for an array and you put the old permalink in the redirects 
and then you just replace the permalink with the actual literal permalink that you want it to have. Um, and I haven't really done much with tags. The, 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 oh, what's the word? Let me go back here. Compiled dev. Collation, that's what I was thinking of. Oh no, I want just compiled. So this, this collation, this is handled in two places. One, an aggregate, which is the next thing we'll take a look at. Let me go out of here now. And the aggregate is where, you know, if you're going to do a tag cloud or you're going to do categories or anything that operates on like collections as a whole or the, the, the complete state of the blog as a whole, that would go into aggregate. And I tried to do my best to make sure there's no magic strings. So most things like the plugins uh, for Google Ads, Google Analytics, Facebook Connect, um, and even the style sheets and discuss and and the collates or collation or however you pronounce that, they're all in this partials.yaml. So there's no magic strings actually in the library Desiree. All of the strings are either in the layout or in the config or in the partials.yaml. Okay. Next is well, let me show you where I'm going to go back to Dear Desi. I should probably rename this repository to just Desi. Um, but I'm going to go back here. This is the web interface and the command line interface. And I'll just show you the bin. There's also one under components, uh, which is the directory where the Angular service, where it kind of wraps the library as an Angular service. But I'll show you the command line one because it's probably the simplest. So here's where the transforms are registered. So there's lint, root, normalize, and discuss. Here's where the aggregators are registered. It's just collate. Here's where the data mappers are registered. So there's Desiree, which is basically a no-op, and then Ra'o, which is the one we looked at earlier. And then there's render registers. So JS, CSS, and HTML are all no-ops, but they're necessary. Because if you don't have a renderer, it won't even, it won't even pull the files from the file system. When it walks the file system, it's given a list of extensions for which there are renderers, and it only searches those, or only returns um, results for those files. So we have Markdown and Jade. If you wanted to add your own, you could do so there. Um, and I do plan to add a register filters as well, so that you could do things like Embedly, in your mustache templates have uh, have a it would be it would look like this probably is what I would do wait hold on be filters oops and then you know your argument that gets passed in so page dot YouTube or whatever, and then ending it. So anyway, I don't have that yet, but I plan to support that. And then um, I do want to add in RSS feeds. That'll go in an aggregate. I do want to add in um, some other things. And I'll just get around to them as I have time. Or if you you know say, hey, I in order for me to realistically use this, I really need this to be done first, then I can put that as you know one of those things as a higher priority on my list. and. Um, I'd be happy to accept any any help, any criticism of, uh, you know, not just like this sucks, but, and like, hey, Ra'o does it this way, and yours does it that way, and they're not compatible, you need to reconcile that, because um, I really do want to strive for compatibility. Anyway, so uh, that's that, and happy blogging. If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top, give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.